Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel Learn English with Chris Teacher. Now it's been quite a few weeks since I've posted here on this channel and that's down to the fact that I have moved away from South Korea and I moved back here to my home in sunny Scotland in the United Kingdom. So I've been back for about two weeks now and it has been fantastic. Yeah, the weather has been amazing, really sunny, really hot. I've been able to take the dog out for a walk. I've been able to uh, sort the ponies out or help my mum with the horses and ponies. Uh, just been able to get out and about and it's been really, really great. However, today, you might be able to hear it. Uh, it is raining and very, very windy. So I can't really do much. So I thought, why not make a YouTube video today? So, since I've been back in the United Kingdom, I have got to spend time with my nieces. So one is six years old, going to be seven years old this year, and the youngest is four years old, just turned four. So, last time I saw them was maybe two, three years ago. I believe the youngest one was only two years old, and the oldest one was only four or five years old, so uh, they didn't really recognize me that much. But this time it's been great, I got to spend time with them, and a few, or well, about a week ago, they got to come around and have a sleepover here. So, a part of their sleepover, when they went to bed, I got to read them a bedtime story. So today's video is, I'm going to go through the bedtime story that I read to them, because actually, it was really fascinating, I really enjoyed the book, actually, for a bedtime story. So the book is, if we have it here, called The Tartan Witch. Now, it's a book by Greta York, and illustrated by Maggie Bolton. So, as the cover says, the Tartan Witch is the main character, and she is a witch from Scotland. Now, if you are, don't know about the United Kingdom, Scotland is to the north, and the Scottish accent, they speak English, but the Scottish accent is very thick, very hard to understand for some people. Even myself, when I first moved to Scotland, didn't really understand what anyone here was saying. So, the book is the Tartan Witch is speaking in Scotland, like Scottish English, the, with the English with a Scottish accent, and the other witches didn't understand her, so they had to use a potion of uh, understanding Scots to English. So it's just explaining what she's talking about. So I'm going to take you through the book today. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did, and let's get into the video. The Tartan Witch by Greta York, and illustrated by Maggie Bolton. The witches were sitting about, looking really glum. It was always the same at this time of year. Tartan Witch was due to visit. It's not that they didn't like Tartan Witch. She seemed really good fun. But they couldn't understand a word she said. Instead of sitting about moping, why don't we do something about it, said Red Witch. We could fly away, suggested Pink Witch. Or we could make a spell and turn her words into ones we understand, said Purple Witch. Now that's an idea, said Blue Witch. I think we could manage that. Immediately the witches gathered all the things they thought they would need. Down of thistle, essence of haggis, scale of a monster, flake of porridge, fawn of a rose, Hair of a bulldog, tooth of a lion. With lots of zaps and whooshes, the spell was just ready when... Whoosh, fizz, zap, plop. Tartan Witch barged through the door and flopped onto Pink Witch's couch. With a time I've had, I'm fair pretty do, she gasped. And the translation was... What of time I've had, I'm absolutely shattered. It started last night when I was having my tea. I cooked a brewy haddy and with juice a boot to add it when... Translated to, it all started last night when I was having my dinner. I cooked a nice piece of haddock and was just about to have it when... Young Gerke Duck for next door came in with a semi a pair of bricks in it move. The idiot had put him off my wishing line. 
That stupid dog from next door came in with a vest and knickers in its mouth. The silly thing had pulled them off my washing line. I hunted the dog, steeped the clues. I chased the dog and soaked the clothes. And when I came back to the table, my cat had rid off with me haddy. I was first grunit, I can tell ye. And when I came back to the table, my cat had run off with my haddock. I was really fed up, I can tell you. Only way I was just spreading a jelly piece instead when there was a rich douchier. Anyway, I was just spreading a jam sandwich instead when there was a terrible commotion. And a mucky kubi fell down the loom and an enormous crow fell down the chimney. The cat hunted the market thing around the house and there were stew everywhere. The old place was manky. The cat chased the dirty thing all around the house and there was dirty dust everywhere. The whole place was filthy. Keep the aid, I said to myself, and read up at uh, the jelly piece and went to my bed for a wabbit. Keep calm, I told myself. I tied it up, ate the jam sandwich and went to bed very tired. Oh, you poor thing, said Yellow Witch. Aye, but that not the end of it. Yes, but that's not the end of it. See the day when I set off my guide new broom. Today I set off on my good new broom. I had ne got far when the guide a wee stuggle, then stopped dead. We my cat a blow my oxter. I held tish to my bag and I went tumbling down. Help my bob! Did I no land on top of a wee wheel padded tatty boggle in the tum she filled? I hadn't gone far when it gave a little wobble and then stopped dead. With my cat under my arm, I held on tight to my bag and we went tumbling down. Good grief! Did I not land on top of a well-stuffed scarecrow in the turnip field? I sprouched up, gathered my things and walked to a bus stop. When Yin came, the driver was awfully crabby and the bus was fair hotching with meters and gathering veins. I scrambled up and gathered my things and walked to a bus stop. When one came... The driver was in a grumpy mood and the bus was busy with mothers and crying children. Jings, he was even more crabbier when the bus started reeking and then broke down a govern. You'll have to get off the bus, he tells us. By Jingo, he was even grumpier when the bus started smoking and then broke down altogether. You have to get off the bus, he told us. Wheel, I skitted aft and tumbled down the banking into brambles and jagged nettles. Again, I lost my wallies in the far. Well, I bounced off and tumbled down the bank into blackberries and nettles. I very nearly lost my false teeth in the fall. Some of the women gave me a hand up. My cleese was ripped and my hands were stinging. I rubbed them with a docking leaf and started walking. Jings, my feet are fair go pin, but here I am. Some of the women gave me a help up. My clothes were ripped and my hands were stinging. I rubbed them with a dock leaf and started walking. Boy, my feet are throbbing, but here I am. As the witch is busy about getting tea, scones and cakes for the guest... Tartan Witch kicked off her shoes. Afterwards, Red Witch sat down beside Tartan Witch, put her arm around her and said, Ken Wit Tartan Witch, ye an orfi belcher. Do you know what, Tartan Witch? You're a right chatterbox. The witches all burst out laughing. Tartan Witch opened her bag and gave each of them a tartan hat. Wallace... Elliot, Hunting Galloway, 
McLeod Free, Harris Lilac, Danoon Irish, Thunart Pink, Gigha Lilac, and Douglas Grey. Jings, said Grey Witch as they took a selfie. Don't we look braw? Don't we look great? Puddock. Spoog. Midge. Be hockey. Howlet. Brock. As you can see outside, it's a horrible, wet, miserable day. But we do what we have to. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, have a good week. Bye.